Can I read a paragraph from, uh, sure. from your article? Let's put that up on the screen here. It's just incredible. So this is from the National Security Document. Climate policies will continue to shape the global energy system. And here's the key line. U.S. leadership is indispensable to countering an anti-growth energy agenda that is detrimental to U.S. economic and energy security interests. And, and it goes on there, uh, basically saying that the U.S. will remain a global leader and it'll use technology and innovation like fracking, like the oil sands, but it will get fossil fuels. So not only is Trump saying, we're going we're to do coal, we're going to do oil, we're going to do natural gas. He's saying, not only are we doing that because it makes money, but it's what keeps us independent from Russia or OPEC. Like that, that is a 180 degree term. That's incredible to me. Right, so what's really interesting about that passage in the National Security Strategy document is it doesn't even enter the scientific debate about whether climate change is real or not. It simply accepts that climate change is going to be a part of policy one way or the other. But it points out that one of the things climate change regulations do is that it restricts the kinds of energy we can use. We can't use coal for electricity generation, for example. Obama wanted to drive the coal industry out of business. Hillary Clinton said that the miners were gonna to have to lose their jobs. So they want to take away coal and other fossil fuel resources. And secondly, they will themselves admit that they're willing to accept some compromise in economic growth because they believe it's necessary to save the planet. So the national security strategy points out that certain kinds of advocacy for climate change regulation are willing to sacrifice our economic growth as well as the range of fuels and energy sources that is available to us. That is a national security threat, because if we have a weaker economy, we cannot be as strong a leader on the national stage and we cannot fund our military. And secondly, if we don't have as many energy sources as we might need in a crisis, we become dependent either on foreign sources or on one or two energy sources that are not plentiful enough, such as solar energy, for example, not plentiful enough to address the needs of our economy, so we have to start rationing, which means, again, we are weaker as an economy and weaker probably as a military. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.